All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Saturday, and I thought it'd be fun to show you guys the uh, Casio Duros on some different straps. Now, as soon as I got um, the blue ones and, and uh, the, the gold one and did the unboxing, I took them off these factory plastic straps. I mean, these are, they're, they're decent. I mean, for the price point of the watch, they work okay, but, um, you know, nothing too fancy going on here. And you can definitely dress, dress the watches up quite a bit. One of the things I wanted to point out with these uh, straps, though, that's really cool is, you know, Casio being like making the digital watches and making their straps easy to change. They've done the same with this. It's cut out, so it's really easy to access the spring bar on these um, straps like this. Really no problem at all to access that spring bar. So kind of cool there. So I don't know why my phone is doing all the focusing like that. But I wanted to show you the, the, the straps that I actually picked out uh, to put the watches on initially and what I've been wearing them on actually since I picked them up. So this is the blue Duro, of course, the 106B. And I have it on this Luff Elastico strap. I love these straps. I think the Luff Elastico straps look really good. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the wrist and show you guys here. I'm actually wearing... Um, Show you guys here. I'm wearing the the Kako, the the Kako, the Laco Cookshaven. Boy, that could have come out really, really bad. It almost did. So, um, anyways, that's what I'm wearing today. But let's go ahead and put on the uh, the Luff here, or the uh, MDV, I should say, on the Luff strap. I'm gonna have to bring it back here so I can kind of hold it against my my uh, body to put that on. But it's a, it's a good looking strap. You it, you know that pinstripe down the center. And I've noticed with any blue watch that I have with the white indices, it really ties it in. You can see it just goes right into that 12 o'clock indice and kind of flows right on through the watch. Super comfortable on this strap and it looks smoking good, huh? So the Luff strap looking good there. I also, so the black model, you guys, of course, you've probably all done quite a bit of play with your black version of the of the MDV and you know these ones look super good on pretty much any kind of NATO strap. This is just a very uh, generic to be honest with you NATO strap. I don't even know what brand this one is but I this is what I've actually been wearing it on when I wore the watch. I was down south um, last week for some work and I actually wore it on this strap. I'll show you the uh, good old James Bond colors here. This is a um, I do believe this is a blue shark uh, seatbelt style strap here. Got their very nice keepers on it and yeah, Blue Shark. So look at that. Always looks good on a James Bond strap there. Cool, huh? So the gold one, um, one the first strap that I grabbed to put on, this is an Armia. This is one of their handmade Italian leather straps. Um, this is actually the one that they put my I think that, yeah, AD. They got my initials on there, so that's pretty cool. But handmade, hand-stitched, um, Italian leather strap. I was doing something with a Sharpie the other day and I accidentally got it on here. And then when I cut it open, guys, see that little scratch I put? But uh, in the, that's when I unboxed this strap. I put a little cut in it, stupid. But looks really good on there. Good, good looking strap. And these, the, the gold version especially, I really like the way it looks on leather. Um, kind of classy looking there. Check that out. So I just figured we'd play around and get these um, watches on some different straps and just kind of see how they look. I do like the leather on this on this gold version. It looks really, really good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and try out some different colors. I like the black one because, you know, with the black, you can really just dress it up quite a bit. Um, black is always just the kind of neutral one that you can use and use all kinds of different colored straps on it, and it looks good. I should have probably prepped these by undoing this part here but this is another I think blue shark strap this is an orca good summertime combination I know out here in California we're already getting pretty darn warm and uh you know this is going to be a good summer combination here yeah blue shark orca on the orange there that looks really good huh classic look of the other duro i'm gonna go ahead and get these ones off of their current straps and we'll slip them on some um nato straps and some other leather straps to see what they look like so we'll just start out with the watch heads and start playing around here and sticking them on different straps this is uh i'm not sure what brand this is this might be a barton strap yep barton strap 22 millimeter good looking strap i think this red stripe is going to make the red second hand on the standard black model really pop Looks good on there. So I'll leave links down below where you guys can pick up any of these straps or uh, all the different companies that I've got here that I'm showing. I'm going to put the blue one on this. This is also uh, Barton here. This is one of their soft kind of camo leathers. Camel, I should say. Camel style. Camel colored. Not actually a camel, but, but the color kind of. So 
feed that through there. I like the blue too on leather. I think this is a this is a nice soft combination, kind of a almost dresses the watch up a little bit. That looks pretty cool. So what do we want to do for the gold? I don't know, let's try something. Um, I don't know, let's see what this, uh, this is a blue shark. This is one of their um, slimline seat belts or something. I think it's, I can't remember what they call these exactly, but you can really have a lot of fun. Obviously the NATO straps and um, these MDV, or yeah, MDVs. At the price point, you can buy, you know, one of these watches and like 10 or 15 different NATO straps and really have a lot of fun. The watches look good in all sorts of different configurations. I mean, they're just a lot of fun to play with. So I want to see what this one looks like on the orange strap. This is probably going to be, oh, no, no, no. You know what I want to do? I want to do the bond strap on the black and gold. I think it would be kind of neat with the guild model to actually have um, some straps with maybe some gold hardware on them. That might be kind of neat. I mean, you know, there's lots of silver in the case, so it carries over just fine, but it would be kind of neat. That looks really nice on there. That's a classy look there. Let's go ahead and throw the the old black one. I want to try it on this orange racing stripe model. So I'm just going to sit here, guys, in front of the camera and put straps on these watches for you. So enjoy. That's what it's all about, showing you guys some of the different combinations you can have with the Casio Juros. Um, just so much fun to play with. And like I said, at the price point, you can buy... You could actually buy all three of these watches and a whole bunch of straps for them and really be in it for, you know, a couple hundred bucks probably. You know, I mean, you're, you're talking three watches, you're at 150. Spend the other 50 bucks, you can buy some straps and you're going to have a killer collection of watches and straps that you can change up, different colorways, different configurations. You know, buy the watches and buy like two straps for each and uh, switch them around, play with them. And you can have a blast. I mean, it's nonstop fun with these watches, especially at the price point. The Casios are so much fun. Guys, it's been fun. It's been a really fun week, you know, having these two new colorways come out. Super exciting. The black always being a classic, guys. And I mean, we could keep going all day long. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do one more um, with the straps. And I mean, that, that's one of the best parts about these little Casios is they're really, they really are kind of a strap monster um, all the way around. Let me go ahead and try this one. This one's a different one, but I think the black and gold might look kind of neat on this, this color strap. And I can't remember exactly what this one is. This is also a blue shark, or this is before they were blue shark. This was when they were just shark straps. And uh, I can't remember the exact color of this. I don't even know if they make this color anymore, but that looks pretty cool. I actually kind of like that look together. That combination's a good combo. So, Guys, I just wanted to show you the Marlin, uh, the new Marlin colorways, the two new ones, of course, here. The standard one, always a fun one to play with on straps, but just throwing them on some straps for you guys there. Um, you know, before we go out, I'm going to go ahead and throw the blue one on a nice uh, leather strap here and see what that looks like. Give me a second here, guys. Well, the leather really dresses that one up, and I'm not, I'm not sure, guys, to be honest, what... Okay, here's the... Here's the brand of this strap. I, oh, this is one of the makes. This, these are good straps. I got this off of Amazon. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can get these. So that really dresses it up. It would look good on either of the either of the new colorways. It would actually look good on the um, on the standard old black model. So, guys, another close up look of the Casio, the MDV one hundred six A, the B, and the G. I think I think this is the A. I don't know, but anyways. All three of the new models there together with some different straps on them. That's really what I want to show. So, all right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.